It will be five years ago tomorrow since five tornadoes tore through southern Indiana. It was a deadly and destructive outbreak. It caused nearly $2 billion in damage. Yeah, that storm hit hardest in Henryville and Clark County. Our Jenny Runovich tonight spoke with people who live there who experienced the worst kind of weather, yet they managed to survive, and they say they're now thriving. A lot has changed here in Henryville. Five years later since that storm, many of the homes are brand new. They've been rebuilt. Some areas, the families left, and the homes are now rubble. But what we found here in this community was an overarching sense of resilience. You can see the difference just driving into town. 2017 compared to catastrophe in 2012. What we know is, is we've got complete destruction. I could actually feel the wind sucking at me, a roar, a loud roar, and I mean, stuff up in the attic was just beating and pounding all over the place. March 2nd, 2012, a tornado outbreak hit southeastern Indiana, killing 14 people in several counties. More than 200 homes destroyed, 2,900 damaged. The worst of it hit Henryville, a powerful EF4 tornado. For people who don't live here, Henryville still brings to mind two iconic images of that storm, the high school gym ripped apart and flattened, and the school bus that 200 mile an hour winds wedged right into a restaurant. We swore it made its dead stop. This restaurant, the one now renamed Bud Rose Bus Stop, owned by Sherman Sykes and his wife Maureen. I work here, my work's right there. They were working that day, heard the warnings on the radio. And at that time, I looked out and I seen the roof of the school go up in the air. I said, basement now. The nine people inside scrambled for safety. This is the stairs that goes down to the basement. They got there just in time. I heard this huge, huge, I don't know what it was. And then that's what I said. I was the only one that spoke. Nobody would answer me. I said, what the was that? When we came upstairs, that's what it was. It was the bus come through. Now, you can imagine in your own mind, you go down and chairs and people was in here out. And then you come back up in a few minutes in a bus. So, I mean, it just freaked you out. I've been all over this world. I've never seen nothing like that. That's why five years later, this is the bus on the outside. That bus is still such a part of this place to show customers what they survive. We get them from North Carolina, Alabama, California, Mississippi. But it's also a reminder for locals of just how far they've come. Yeah, this is what happened to us, and look at us now. You stand here and look out. You don't believe there's ever been a tornado here. The recovery has been remarkable. Henryville High School came back first, rebuilt in just five months. Belfort Construction repaired Budrow's restaurant, too. Then came the homes. Pine Street up here was gone, and all the homes is up there, and people are, they're just about all done, ain't they, mind? They are done. They rebuilt the gas station, we got a dollar store, and the school is looking really good. Everybody grouped together here and said, let's go, let's go, let's go. They never stopped. They worked 24 hours a day. It did take time and work and money. Many had to fight for insurance to recover. Some never did. They lost everything and had to leave town. But for most, life in Henryville is now back to normal. A community psych says is full of heroes who had the tenacity to heal themselves. They got hearts that big in Henryville. I ain't kidding you, I tell them. That's the way they are here. Everybody wanted to help and everybody did help. There was nobody sitting down and they all kept going. This community here is just the greatest people in the world. That's why Sykes keeps the pictures up, to show people can bounce back from anything, even this. In Henryville, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. But well, that is a great story. It and I'm with, I'm with Sherman. You know, I've seen a lot of tornado damage mm -hmm. over the years, you know, being here so long and being in other places. But that school bus in that I building know. was just an incredible mm -hmm. sight. Yeah, that image etched in our memory yeah. forever. It's yeah. hard to believe, though, that it's been five years five since that. Years. But talk about the resiliency and the perseverance of that community. It's awesome. great. It and, is. And awesome. you have a great story tonight mm -hmm. about one of the uh, individuals in the town. Yes, Stephanie Decker, who yeah. basically saved her children as their house was blown to bits mm -hmm. by this tornado. So uh, we'll 